what happens when a man with a voice of an angel and a woman who twerks like the devil get together with Terry Crews to save the swamp? Let's find out. <laughs> Did you say twerks like the devil? <laughs> I think that's it. And we're back. Thanks for joining. It is feature week. As I'm sure you all know, the best kind of week, especially with what we have lined up. I hope, I think. I have high hopes for something that's happening so far, far south, but we'll see. Deep, <laughs> we'll see. deep south. Deep, deep in the south. Yeah. Uh, there'll be a lot of weird accents tonight. Uh, okay, so what are we talking about? This week, or last week rather, during the Fast Five, another fun episode there, we landed after some ultimatums, some talking, but not much debate. I think we both, once we found this beer, we're kind of like, well, this will be funny. Is it going to happen tonight? And indeed, it is. Uh, we went with Gator Belts and Patty Melts from Hop Butcher for the World. That's right. That's the name of the beer. Gator Belts and Patty Melts. It's too good to pass up. We took a, a risk on picking this one, um, I think, maybe. I didn't really know what was going to happen when we picked it, but here we are doing it as a movie. This just makes this show so fun. Um, checked in by Seth. So we're going to get to that in a minute. Um if it's your first time here, I'm Harrison. This is John. We're your hosts. Uh, and uh, we're excited to have some fun and see where the story goes. So we're going to make up a movie out of nothing. Well, okay. pretty good to start <laughs> Gator, Gator Melt from Patty Melt. That's right. We have the beer and we have we had a riff, a good riff. It involved Terry Crews for some reason, which we're going to hash out now. Yeah, it almost gave me uh, the hustle is weird. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Like with the Gator Belts and the Patty Melts yes. being deli things that, and the yeah. Italians. That, that was, uh, but I'm, I'm glad we ended up where we did, Harrison. Yes, this is different. If you're... If you missed last week and you're coming at us like, why are they going to make a movie about belts and about burgers? That's not what this movie is about. I think the high-level quick breakdown we did in, from Fast Five was Gator and Patty are people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they live in Florida, of course. Um, Gator's the singer, Patty's the dancer, and they're kind of a duo. They meet and become a, a, a traveling, successful duo, and... Um, you know, there's a run in with a record company, there's some chasing happening, adventure, they end up in front of Terry Crews and America Got Definitely Talent for Terry some Cruz. reason. And um yeah, and yeah. So and kind of had Joe Dirt vibes. That's basically what we got out of the fast five. Now we're gonna fill in since that's mostly holes, we're gonna fill this <laughs> with that as we can, make it make sense, give them a reason to go on this adventure as we always try to do. Um, and then just see where the heck Gator Belts and Patty Melts takes us. We have we know Terry Crews is somewhere near the finish True. line. If we get in trouble, we're not sure why yet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but we'll figure that out along the way. So, sure, easy, <laughs> easy going. What do we got? Fifty more minutes to record. Oh, no, busy. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> So with a man na with a name like Gator, yeah, and there. Patty Patty Melts, I love this. I love that you made them people. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is going to happen in, in at least in the beginning of this film. We'll find Terry Crews eventually. This is going to happen in the deep, steamy heart of the Everglades. Oh yeah, thick. <laughs> Gators are wet. common. That's the, it. The air is very wet. Wet, wet heat. Very it's wet heat. heat. We're back to that wet heat. Um, <laughs> Yes, it's, 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 there's your Joe Dirt vibes. Yep. Um, so, like Panhandle, Florida? Or I would say even deeper. It's like all the way down almost. But on the west side. If we're going Everglades, Everglades all the way down there. Okay, okay, yeah, so good not point. not Tallahassee. I think I said that. But they'll be already already deep, deep down in that part of Florida that's not a lot of not lights. Disney. Fly over at night. Yeah, past Disney, deep. There's no no. You fly into here. Orlando, you ain't, you ain't seeing Gators people. No, you're not. You're get, Gators deep down in the Everglades and some cool, you know, and he's, he's making a living probably as a mechanic, but his passion, of course, is singing. 
Yeah, Gator was blessed with one a really good name. Yeah, and two that's his given name. Uh, <laughs> on the on the birth name. certificate, if there's a birth certificate, it says Gator. Right, you're um, named either after your father or the thing that killed your father. It's yeah. just the way it is down there. So Gator got the latter. <laughs> Never knew his papa, but his uncle was pretty good. Clutch yeah. helped him out. There you go. Uh, we're gonna fix probably fix his airboat, an airboat. Yes, definitely mechanic. fix his air, an airboat mechanic. Perfect. Just the way around a propeller or two. Um <laughs> and so and and he was also blessed with the voice of yeah. an angel. Yep. We I probably mean, I'm imagining like early on we're seeing like a young gator and there's a, you know, maybe a small dispute in his trailer park. And, you know, you run over my cousin's foot with your truck. And now your cousin was drunk in the road again. Yeah, so what? And he kind of jumps to the middle. It's like, everyone, please, God, 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 calm down. And they're not listening to him. And maybe he gets pushed out of the way. And for some reason, something just wells up inside Gator. And yeah. he's like, I'm going to sing. If I start singing, Maybe everyone will calm down and they'll focus on me and I can Swing end. low. <laughs> They're like, what the hell is that boy doing? Right. So they so anyway, Gator uses his voice for good, but immediately come a young age is known in this small little community as having an amazing voice. Um, but what do you do with that down in the deep, deep bayou and the deep, deep Everglades? Yeah, it's in LA. Right. There's, there's no, that doesn't mean you have a future. You still got to fix all the broken airboats for all the tourists and, you know, make something of yourself. You know, singing's great, but it ain't going to get, ain't going to get you out of this swamp. You weren't born in the swamp, you die in the swamp. You can sing as much as you want, son. I ain't gonna change nothing. That's and maybe he doesn't even. He's kind of. He's probably fine with that. He's right. He's, he's a happy guy. Plenty of tourists, and right. Gator fixes the boats, and Uncle takes them out, and they make money, <laughs> and they eat well. You got jambalaya. You got yep. uh, what's the other Gator one? burgers? Oh, Get, gumbo, gumbo. Sure, that's, thank you. Sure yeah. That's down there. Uh, and they probably sell them. You got to take some of that gator gumbo to go. That's right. He's, yeah, he's a heck of a gumbo salesman and yeah. a mechanic. But he probably like works. So, okay, we're talking about tourists. You've never been to the Everglades. That's You could go there as a tourist and put your life at risk with real alligators. But there's also plenty of kind of like side show, side of the road attractions. Oh, my so, God, yeah. Gator wrestling. So, so many. Right. Like, so you we, go to the Everglades, you got to catch yourself gator wrestling. So. <laughs> you got to see it with your own eyes and believe it. How quick the spin, the death spin, uh, the death roll. So, yeah. so, so he's obviously involved in this too. And maybe like that's where he, so he's a mechanic by day. He's working for the weekend because he knows every Saturday night he gets to put on his cool, you know, his journey outfit, the band, like yeah. some cool sequence something with some stars and some lights maybe on it, jumpsuit type thing. And, when the gator wrestling and the wrestlers who are wrestling the gators are taking a break, it's gators time. He's up there singing Journey and singing Credence and singing maybe some of his own songs. He's doing swamp bayou he's, music. Yep, he's shining out there and people are blown away. And maybe he's come a little bit of a, a local legend. And maybe even in the past, like folks have come from the big city to try to check him out record label people or something uh, like that, talent scouts, radio personalities, and the towns kind of shoot them away. Like, you know, we don't need that. that you know, poison in Gator's mind with yes. thoughts start him. It's born in the swamp and dies. In the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're really committed. Tattooed on his arm. <laughs> Everyone's arm. <laughs> Everyone's born and dead. For some, it's 2024. This is taking place in current times, I'm imagining, but for some reason, they're just like, we can't get out of the swamp. We're a proud right. people. <laughs> Okay. Right. In the the right there. You're three hours from Miami. Um <laughs> Miami. <laughs> Ain't never much like Miami the devil town. Sushi. <laughs> they don't even cook their fish. You believe that? Uh foolish. Foolish. I've seen a fish jump off a plate and take a man's head off. I've been on the grill for hours. Let's be sure I'm gonna be cooking that, although I do <laughs> I did try me some of that wasabi. <laughs> And I gotta admit, that's the devil's tongue. I quite like it. All right. Oh man, going out's quite the experience. Yeah. Better than, even better than when it goes in. Just, just eat the wasabi gator. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they only give you a little bit so that you know you gotta eat it all in that's one right. bite. Take a big old scoop. So okay. So so anyway, but gator is kind of 
again so he's a, he's a by nature i think kind of a happy dude um but uh and yeah gets his time to shine every saturday at the gator wrestling and all that cool stuff but he's he's kind of accepted like that's where the singing will go that's as far as it'll go that's it i'm a, i'm a mechanic and and that's fine again he's he's happy with it um but that should all it's all about to change when he meets he meets the the yin to his yang, the 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 Pat hush belt. puppies to his to his gator <laughs> belt, <laughs> the okra to his there we go gumbo perfect that's it the red roux to his gumbo <laughs> yeah. if you're a chef that's right so how does he meet our wonderful Patty Melt the other half of this duo yeah and you know this plot point or this detail character little maybe doesn't matter that much about her she could be kind of new in town maybe she didn't grow up there or they could have known each other forever i don't know and i don't know if it matters um but i think unless you have something to weigh in on there i like i like the idea that patty's a, a swamp person okay herself. perfect all right so they're both swamp people okay good point so but she's kind of growing up with a little bit of a different similar but different she works at the diner gotta be one she's a she's a town swamp uh, uh yeah not uh, not big city and we don't it's not like sure. the bayou folk hate the town folk but no she, yeah, she spent it's most of her life different. in town she went to all all 10 grades right. she wears shoes every day let's put it that way yeah Get, yeah there's shoes on most mostly no no shoes on most days um but yeah so she's probably working in the diner that her mom worked in and her mom before her and so on and whatever and it's a similar deal like this is just my lot in life but She's probably happy too. However, much <laughs> Patty like- Melt's dad died from a Patty Melt. <laughs> Patty Melt. That's why she got that. Patty <laughs> Chew, Billy Chew. <laughs> Mama makes the best. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, what's happening, Daddy? Daddy, no. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, we already named her but Patty. I'm pre- but I'm pregnant with your daughter. <laughs> I can feel by the way she kids. <laughs> I know you're right. Chew, please, Billy, chew. <laughs> Ooh, and he dies oh, right there. Another that baby grows up without a dad in the swamp. That's right. Oh, my gosh. Dangerous. Anyway, Dangerous. anyway so I like the idea that Patty is a, a waitress in town. But kind of endearing, like the town knows her. They love her. They, a lot of yes. people go there every day, yes. grab a Patty melt. I like that. It's fun. It is fun. It's and it's really like the, the place to go in town to eat. If you're not going to eat out of like a can in your trailer, you're going to go to the diner um, and have some food there. And, and you go into town. You put your shoes on for the day. It gets Jeez. excited. Yes, sir. The shirt with the buttons. The shirt that used to have the buttons on it. Put that one on. <laughs> okay. And so starch jeans, right. maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extra starch. I can't even get bend my knees. <laughs> um <clears throat> how am I gonna sit down? Like an idiot. So <laughs> <laughs> taking this food to go. Okay. So we're really laying it on <laughs> to uh, so, uh yeah, Florida. Okay, oh well. Um so let's but I think important, very important, obviously, for Patty's story is that, like, just like Gator, she has this passion not for singing, but for dancing. And I don't know how she's expressing this, if it's more secretive. Like, I kind of I could see her very 80s, like with the Walkman on and the mop in the yes, morning, cl- spinning around the diner, dancing with the mop and like really got some moves. Clearly, not just mailing it in. I mean, she was made to dance. She just happened to be born in the swamp and not, you know, born on the steps of Juilliard. So the world will never know the talent that's sitting right there in that diner. Where so much talent things. in small towns. That's right. But there's a joy. That's right. And, you know, you get to embrace and enjoy your talent like right. Patty. Exactly. And that's, and, 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 you know, so Patty and Gator are kind of, you know, know of each other maybe, but whatever from afar. And they're maybe, I don't know if like the guy who owns the, the gator wrestling or how, how do their paths cross? Like what should happen where they, I'm imagining like a, so like some event. So Patty through maybe like her friend or probably cousin, um, caught her dancing. He's like, you should really like, you should, you should get, the, get out with, you should share this with people in town. I think they would like it. Oh okay. no, no one wants to see, no one wants to see my dance. And it's just something I do. <laughs> and, 
so you know this could play out in the movie but uh -huh. so patty is gonna try and do she's going to the gator wrestling this is yeah. this is it this is the entertainment in town we don't even have a movie theater so she's like you know what i will and she talks to another cousin that runs the gator wrestling hold on, on I have the an weekends idea. okay I have, an idea. I have an idea to make this kind of mo mo a movie moment so let's say usually Everything you just said has happened. She's going to the Gator Wrestling. She's like maybe just watching that night. That's her plan. And then Gator gets up there, starts singing. They've got a backing track, and it's playing, and he's singing some Journey song or whatever. And then the generator dies, and the music stops. And everyone's like, and the lights dim, and Gator's up there like, oh, what do I do? Of course it's a generator. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> and so... So Gator's kind of nervous, and the spotlight hasn't happened before. You know, he likes the backing track, and he kind of needs it. He's just thrown off by this kind of surprise that happened, uh, a little shocked. And Patty sees this immediately, and it's like, oh, my God, what do I do? Poor Gator. And maybe in immediately has a connection to him, and, and maybe her mom she's with or whoever, like, nudges her and is like, get get out there. Like, go go help him. Or maybe she just does it herself. She's like, I, I got you. All the, all, I'll, I'll, I'll dance and you sing. And he's like, what? And so she starts, she's like, come on, I'm going to start dancing. Don't, don't leave me hanging out here. Like I've got, love it. You know, like, like I got, I need some music to move by. And he's got a little yeah. banjo guitar. Perfect. Or yep. That, yeah. He could have one of those. Maybe there's one sitting on the stage that like, it's just there as a prop, but he's like, all right, I'll, I know, I know a few tunes. I made one myself. She's like, that's fine by me. You play whatever your heart is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pretty lady. And so. So they so that happens like we see like this would be like seeing the Beatles meet or like seeing Elvis I don't know shake his hips for the first time like this is a wild moment in the the future history of music in this country seeing Gator belts and Patty melts come together for the first time and that's what's happening kind of impromptu and you get to see Gator kind of he's not just covering songs right now he's exactly he's like he sings he's his own song. from his heart yep which. Patty dances from her heart and a lot of right. her hips. That's it. A lot of spinning. A lot of and now people are the audience are moving. They're dancing. They're grooving. The alligators are bouncing around and chomping behind them. It's, <laughs> it's an, and then the dinner comes back on. Rockets fire, and it's like this amazing show. And you know, and and at the end, Gator is kind of like, "Thank you for saving me." And Patty's like, don't, "That's not don't how he says this. it." You're right. Oh, I could mm. <laughs> sound like Batman now. <laughs> uh, two face. Must could have been kiss a lady's feet. <laughs> how, would, uh, uh, how would he say it? Oh, I couldn't couldn't have done this without you, sweetheart. That's better. Something. I like that. And she's uh, or maybe he's more humble and kind of like like reserved with it. Like can't believe what just happened. Kind of shocked. And she's like, oh wait, no thing. And walk starts to walk away. Um, and maybe the guy who owns the Gator wrestling place, maybe he's kind of, maybe it's his uncle and he's kind of Gator's uncle and he is kind of like a benevolent guy and, you know, successful cause he owns the Gator wrestling place. So, and, the um, uh, and the airboat, thing. Yeah, and the airboat <laughs> mechanic shop. So he owns the two businesses down that aren't Mark the Mark Cuban in the bayou. <laughs> uh, and exactly right. Mark Cuba. And so, <laughs> and so... <laughs> Um, and so he's like, wait, 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 you guys aren't, you guys aren't splitting up right now. I like guess we're doing this next week. So he sees it as an opportunity, but not in a taking advantage kind of way, more of like a, this is amazing Good for the business, but I really right. saw something in, in, I gotta say, I really saw something in what y'all were putting together. <laughs> it was three different accents in one <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to keep happening. It's a melting pot down here. And, yeah. Uh, a lot of culture down. And uh, I really think y'all should come back next <laughs> week and, and do this right. little, little, little show. You guys, it's a pretty good thing to have a duo like y'all have. That's right. And really, I mean, this could be, we didn't even say this, but I, I think it's, we've kind of just discovered it. Like this is like a, this is our first musical. I think is what we've just, we've just, Oh, I hate <laughs> musicals. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe it doesn't need to be every other scene, but like, but now that I'm seeing this, they did a song together, and it, that's exciting. It's Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga, right? And and maybe you know, I feel like in all of these 
movies, especially with singing or some kind of artistic expression, like even if the protagonist is like, I don't need this. I'm happy just singing in bars and restaurants and whatever. When you get that glimpse of something bigger, like Gator just did, it can kind of hatch something inside you of like, oh, well, well, maybe I do want more than just you know, singing. Just, in a just like the can. fight when he was a kid and he was like, right, oh, God, so right, oh, 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 right. Oh, oh, oh. Is that same what feeling? You know, oh, happened again. <laughs> <laughs> what is this kid doing? Where'd he hear this song? <laughs> Who's he been hanging out with? Uh, he's reading the wrong books. So, um, so you're not supposed to sing that song, Gator. Right. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. Um, now, <laughs> so, so I think you're right. I think, I think Mark Cuba or whatever his uncle's name is suggests that they come back again, and Gator's like excited. He's like, Yeah, this, that was amazing. But I think. Patty is more reserved of like, I, I don't, I, I don't know. This was, this was a lot of fun tonight, but you know, I, I got double shifts at the diner next week. So yeah, this is my one, one Saturday off a month. So I'll see y'all next month. And she tries to blow him off. And I think Gator, Gator maybe chases her down and that's in the next fun musical scene could happen, John, where they're dancing <laughs> and singing and the, um, walking back to the diner. And eventually I think in that song somehow about something, hope, stream, singing, dancing. Boy, we'll hire somebody to write it. And Gator convinces her of like, all right, I'll switch shift next week and I'll try it again. And kind of that's where it all begins at the Gator wrestling every Saturday. The legend of Gator and Patty starts to grow. And I'm seeing like the crowds get bigger, local news, something like that. Like it's a real or rockets singing, original music, alligator spinning around. It's it's like Moulin Rouge. <laughs> In the bayou. <laughs> Mulan Brown. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That we can call okay. it. Okay. Totally. So we got to move We gotta move it forward a little bit because our two protagonists have just met. Yes. Um, so uh, Gator and Patty, reluctantly, but, but, but with their hearts, find the time to kind of join together. Yes. And this becomes a recurring maybe Saturday, maybe every other Saturday at the Gator show. Yep. Um, and, and they kind of become friends, too. Oh, yeah. Like, they've known each other. Of course, everybody knows each other as swamp people. Um, <laughs> but, you know, they Gator and his, and his uncle is like, you know what? Maybe we should go out and see Patty at the diner tonight. I'll take you out to dinner. You did good on the boats today, yep. fixing them up. Yep. The, this bond grows. And what interferes with the bond more than a corrupt yes. corporate scumbag? That's it. You know, they're coming. With fame comes all these other people trying to set your hooks in you. They, and they, you can't just fly into the Gator show. They got to drive in from Miami. There you go. Um, and you and you see it, and you, there's a guy in like a fresh flannel shirt. Can he have a ponytail? Of course he has a yep. ponytail. Bloated kind of. Uh, but yep. He's got he's got jeans on, but they're like oh. seven for all mankind jeans, yep. <laughs> and a, and a and a, flat, a designer flannel shirt, oh, man. The gold brim sunglasses. Yep. He comes down. He's watching the show, and after the show, he approaches Gator and Patty. You know, hey, I I just wanted to say, wait, where's the accent? No, there isn't one. Uh, hey, I, uh, I I just I just wanted to say, you guys got some real skill, and you know, here at uh, Swamp Tracks, uh, uh, the record label where we've recruited s such great acts as uh, Billy Wonder Drawers and <laughs> Swampy and the Kid. Swampy the Kid made a lot of money. I made a lot of hits with Swampy the Kid. Lady Skunk Ape, L of course. <laughs> La Lady Ball. Skunk Ape. Yeah. <laughs> it's her great. She sold so many records. Right. Yeah, um, you know, and they all did well and moved on up to the city. Even uh, even the uh, Billy Swamp Kid even lives in Atlanta now. He's got a big old house in Atlanta, doing really well for himself. I'd like to make an offer to you as well. And Penn's yeah. pretty pumped. Uh, okay. She's like, oh, my God, I never thought about him. Well, not so much you, Patty. We don't really do uh. dancing on the record, as I'm sure you could right. probably figure out with <laughs> enough <right>. time. <laughs> but... Uh, what we really want is uh, is Gator's voice. I, I think we could put you in the studio and we could make some money together. What do you think about that, Gator? Right. And Gator's like, no, what, what, what are you talking about? Just me? About what, it's Patty and I till the end of time. Patty and I till we die. Yeah. <laughs> 
says some, you know, buy you wisdom, Adam, some poem, but Gator's not about it at all. He kind of shuts it down and, is, and keep in mind, like they're kind of, they're not famous, but they're locally, again, they've been on the local news, things are exciting. They're now kind of the stars of this town. Maybe that he gets approached by people like this a lot. Like, hey, will you wear the T-shirt for my Ford dealership? Hey, will you wear the pad for my fry cup? Whatever. And he's like, nah, nah, like get get out of my face. Maybe just sees this guy as another one of those people and brushes him off quickly. But we don't. We as the audience kind of see this swamp tracks guy get into his big Cadillac or whatever, and we know like, uh oh, he's got a little more power and pull. So Gator brushes by him, pushes him off, him and Patty leave. But you can kind of see Patty's Ooh. like thinking about it a bit. It's it's weighing on her of like, well, if this is the first time, it's not going to be the last time somebody comes trying to take Gator away. Like, what do I do? Am I keeping him back? Am I getting in the way of his success? Like, she's, she's it's weighing on her what has just happened. Meanwhile, Gator is like, without a second thought, like, now hit the bricks, gear. Hit the hit the clay, man. Not yeah. interested. Not swamp interested. born in the swamp, dying. Yeah, swamp. Swamp. Says it right on my arm. <laughs> that's Patty, Patty's got a little one on her ankle. That's her, that says born in the swamp, died in the swamp. Exactly what I said. <laughs> <laughs> my cousin tattooed this up for me. Ain't yeah, nothing but a ballpoint pen right. or a little eagle feather. <laughs> Yeah, I got affected a lot, and I almost lost my arm, but that's just the way it is in the swamp. With it bubbles, that's how you know it's a real tattoo. <laughs> you don't throw up, it never happened. <laughs> and I, so Gator and Patty, uh, kind of indifferent, uh, indifferent? No, they're uh, from different viewpoints about yeah, this, yeah. where Patty sees maybe some of the potential joy, but G Gator's very gator and uh, on the news that night while they're kind of talking in, in patty's apartment attached to the diner <laughs> yeah. um and gator's like come on we're gonna watch that we're gonna watch my show uh because of oh. course gator wants to watch idiocracy yes all the time um, because he's a big fan of terry cruz and is a... patty is as well because every that's, american is that's right he was a he's a president in the future president <laughs> <laughs> sit down. Okay, okay, fine, Gary. We can watch the show. I just, I really think maybe we should think about this. And then the news comes on, and we get uh, a special okay. news announcement. Okay, that Swamp Track Records is putting a bid to buy up most of the Bayou. They're going to put a giant oh. record center and performing event center, luxury casinos, luxury oh, hotels, man. and they're going to ruin. The yeah. Bayou with this, but I mean, oh it's it's God. capitalism and it's greatest, but right there, it's uh, that's uh, so now. Oh, I think Gator's man. pretty pissed off. They've done the wrong Gator. Gator's all fired up. Don't step on the Gator right. tail. And I imagine this looks just like Biff's tower from like Back to the Future exactly. Two. Yep. It's this kind of black evil. and neon. <laughs> So that's what they want to put there. I love this. It hits local news. And probably like everybody walks out of their trailer or apartment attached to the diner or whatever into the streets. And they're like, did you see the news? Because down there, there's only one channel. Exactly. Somehow. WSMP Swamp News. <laughs> the news bubbles up here first. And so they're, <laughs> so they're like, what is all this? Swamp tracks? Like, what's that? And then they're all commotion. The town's in the streets. They're kind of freaking out. They're all... Now kind of looking to Gary and his uncle, because again, his uncle's a, like kind of a, not the mayor, but kind of a, a, definitely a leader in the town, being a successful business owner. And they're all gathering, talking, and someone pops up and it's like, that man that was on the news talking up from Swap Tracks, Gator, didn't he, wasn't he at the show tonight? And everyone looks at Gator and they're talking like, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. And Gator shuts it down. He's like, he was trying to offer me a record deal. <gasps> I said no. Ah, good job, Gator. Like, they're all yeah. excited and stuff that he's, again, staying true to his roots and stuff. Well, meanwhile, Patty's, like, having a fucking panic attack. He's like, oh, my <laughs> God. What is this, this? I'm destroying his life. The, the Where I live is going to be destroyed. Everything's horrible. Yeah, yeah, Patty's probably taking a lot of that on herself. Yes, she is. Um, and... So they're all talking. No one has any answers, obviously, but they're, they're, they're kind of freaking out and trying to figure out, like, well, what do we do? Can we stop this? And I, I don't know. Legally, if any of what I'm about to say is possible, but maybe it's like set up as a town or a corporation, or it's just like a land nobody owns, and, and for some reason they're able to come in and buy it. Um, and without yeah, as a movie, yeah, movie it's a movie, stuff. movie stuff. 
Um, maybe it's it could just half be... of the lawyers that do work just find really <laughs> intricate loopholes, right. so that uh, can people make can make a right movie. Here. The other half right. do it for political gain, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's so somehow this is able to happen unless somebody stops it, and I don't even know if we have a way of like making it stoppable. Other than we'll figure this out, I guess. But I'm unfortunately, just money. Right, money, think, money, yeah. money works. Uh, or you know, drawing attention to it, or maybe some loophole we haven't figured out yet in the law that is also a loophole. Like we'll get there. That's not crucial to figure out this second. But um, but yeah. So right now, nobody really has a an exact answer. So they kind of disperse and go back to their you know, solemnly their trailers. That of course, Gator and Patty return, and now the news is off and Idiocracy's on. And they're sitting there seeing Terry Crews, and what do you think? They have an epiphany. Like, what are they? What so are they? I think, <laughs> I think the way I want this to okay, happen because okay. it'll help move the plot. Yeah, is we love Terry Crews. It's like 100%. that's the show we. It's the same movie every time. Idiocracy. Right, right. We watch it three or four times a week. They love it. And Gatorade uh, in the water. The Gator's future. like, I can't, I can't watch this right now. I'm all fired up. <laughs> Um, maybe put on something else like the family feud. Right. So they, okay. they he clicks a movie off, goes up to the DVD player and yep. ejects the movie. Yep. And uh and America's Got Talent is on uh on the antenna because you can watch it on an antenna. Yep. And uh and they see Terry Crews and he's like, Well, some bitch. <laughs> Look at him, Terry Crews everywhere trying to tell me we need to save this, save the bayou. Look at him out there yep. with his gold shoes. <laughs> A perfect place. Oh, get him, Terry Crews. <laughs> if only there was a way where we could meet Terry Crews right. and tell him what's going on right. in the bayou. He I know what he'd to save do. us. That's right. He'd know what to do. He was the president. He will be the president. And that's Patty's ticket to say, yeah. like, actually, Gator, Yeah, I think maybe we could be on America's Got Talent and we could use our talent and meet Terry Crews and just tell him what's going on in the bayou. That's it. Yes, yes, this and is it. There's a, a hilarious scene of them like trying to record a video to send in for right. the next AGT, and it's, right, obviously it's not working well because they're on like an Android two <laughs> trying to record the video. Oh, we right. hit the limit again, Patty. We got to do that twenty seconds. <laughs> so then okay. uh, she's like, you know what? I could probably borrow my yeah. my mama's car. We could get to Miami in three. I don't want to go to Miami, <laughs> yeah. but that's where we could go to the the tri- So I it left the swamp. <laughs> I can't go to Miami. Live in the swamp. With all that swamp. uncooked fish out there that they just eat straight from the sea. That's right. All those paved roads and tall buildings. Everybody driving all fast with their neon phones. <laughs> Talking about lawyer insurance. <laughs> Uh-huh. Condominium time share is Does, ridiculous. Doesn't Uncle Mark Cuba have insurance for the boat? <laughs> right, right, right. Oh. You die in the swamp, you de- <laughs> die in the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. A lot of kids named airboats up in New Jersey. <laughs> 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 uh, airboat one, airboat two, <laughs> airboat three. That's so a gondola over there. Through this scene and magical the Southern dialogue exchange, they, uh, I think Patty's able to convince Gator and um, Uncle and everybody's like keen to go along with it because they see there's some talent in these kids. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's uh, sure you want to save the swamp, but I think if you went on AGT, you could be, like maybe Uncle. Is like it might be good for you to do this and and see what's out there and and how about like what this is real simple this could be just we could add this in um, uh, if you think it'll work but like what if the so they're all <laughs> Gator wants to go because he thinks Terry Crews will just help him and have <laughs> wisdom in his brain to give to Gator but his uncle's like Gator don't go just to talk to him like if you win America's Got Talent you get a million dollars that plot of land they're gonna buy like that's eight hundred thousand dollars you could just buy it out from under the casino like you could you could take it from Swamp Tracks if you just win. America's Got Talent. And they're like, oh, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> well, I guess we'll try to do that there, too. Well, it might be nice if we could buy it ourselves, right? <laughs> then we can put more swamp right, boats. Like, yeah, right, exactly. Right. We can put this right, airboat king second location could be over there. <laughs> so so they, they kind of also have this goal, and we'll see if they actually get to it or not, um, in front of them. We're like, okay, there's an out. Not only will we get to use 
the future president of the U.S., Terry Crews' wisdom <laughs> to help figure out a lot. Save the swamp for me, Terry. Yeah, That's exactly all I need right. from you. Put some peace Thank together. Thank you, Mr. President Terry Crews. But if that doesn't work, if they win America's Got Talent, they have actual money to do it. So they have a plan. It looks as good as it could possibly look. Um, and they set off on this kind of road trip. And maybe uh, Patty, like, realizing that Android 2 is garbage and, like, Maybe she's a little more wise in the world. She's in the diner. People come through there from the real world. True. She does she see does, some of the tourists. She, she sees she's seen a real phone, a new phone. She grabs one of those too with her savings to use on the trip to navigate to get to Miami, but from also the local Verizon authorized retailer. <laughs> yeah. The, the of course, is one of those next to the Dollar General. Yeah, it's the Valley <laughs> right in town. It's the only the only franchise they allowed in. Um and yeah, so she has one of those too, and maybe she's also trying to like I don't know TikTok or something. Just get them out there a little bit more, build up some hype. She, I heard that's what you got to do. Get on America's Got Talent. It's all about America. We got to get in front of America. So I found this Chinese app. We're gonna get on this. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> America uses it. We're gonna be. That's gonna get us there. <laughs> Gator's kind of pissed immediately. <laughs> Chinese app right. coming what? to the swamp. That's right. Patty, put that phone away. We don't need to. <laughs> oh, okay, but don't you worry. maybe that helps. It's also given directions. Right, exactly. Um, where the hell, how the hell do they know where we are? And he sees like some some kid on TikTok covering a Journey song. He's Perfect. like, oh, yeah. Wait, look at, give me that. How there do you, you go. See, look at that. Put, give him the heart button. Yeah. Give him the heart hit, button hit for me. Talk tell, to him, him. tell him it's Gator. Can he Gator. hear me? Gator. <laughs> Gator says, maybe hold the D cr- fret. <laughs> if you hold that D fret and get a little low get a little with little, it, like, put a little soul in your voice. <laughs> I need to show these people how to sing. Right, let me talk and, to this Oh, boy. well, I can record you, Gator. Okay, you can do it all for him. So I like this. She yeah. starts like on their journey yep. to Miami. It's a bit of a metaphor there too, as they come out of the swamp. They kind of also enter the twenty fourth first century yeah. a couple different ways. Um, I like that. But yeah, the road. So the road trip begins right to Miami. That's kind of the plan right now. Yep. Right, um, cool. in in Patty's mama's car. <laughs> And so in, in, big Cadillac. in the film, they're probably going to be, you know, maybe a, a spare tire or ga- Gator immediately. Like anything that happens to the car, Gator's like, I can fix this. I can fix right. this right so quick. I can I fix need, an airboat. I can fix yeah, Go out car. to the woods, fetch me a stick. I need to breed the Blake lines. <laughs> a, a, a stick? Yeah. They stop and help other people whose car is broken exactly. down. Gator's like, yeah, I can fix this yeah. up right quick. I'll pee right in your radiator. <laughs> yeah, you uh, need to get a little fluid in there. Finish that seven up. Put the pee right in the Gatorator. You got it. Don't touch it with your wheel. We, that's hot, hot, hot. <laughs> you maybe run your air conditioning a little too long. Maybe turn that stuff off. Enjoy some of the fresh air down there. That's right. We're out of the swamp now. Let's right. breathe. Down here, you get a breeze and a meal. It's a big dragon <laughs> Chilly, <fun>. actually. <laughs> So that, a little bit of fun to be had, um, and getting into Miami. It's a, it's probably over. It's def, it's overwhelming for me to go to Miami. Yeah, exactly. Um, so you got the tall buildings, yes. the traffic's merging, highways everywhere. They're just, they've been whipping. going on a, like an exit and on ramp loop for probably <laughs> going on twenty minutes here before Gator finally says like. All right, I think I'm ready. I think we can right. maybe push into that left lane That's now. <laughs> <laughs> right, I love that. So a bunch of fun misadventures on the road, um, but they get there. Don't and... let anyone sell you drugs, Patty. <laughs> right. I'm the only one. I'll do the drugs for the both of us. <laughs> <laughs> so they get there, and of course, Gator just walks up immediately to the building where they're filming American Talent. And is like, I'm here to see Terry. And they're like, are you on a list? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Terry, <who>? Terry Crews, <laughs> Terry will know me. I watched Idiocracy 9,000 times. He will know me. <laughs> Why do you think he'll know you? Because you've watched Idiocracy. <laughs> Just get Terry down here. He'll know me. Tell him it's Gator. Gator. It's Gator's here. Gator. Gator calling. <laughs> so that doesn't work. So the plan to just kind of talk to Terry Crews kind of falls apart quickly. Um, what else should be happening right now? I mean, the, the record company guy is kind of still... He's got his, obviously, eyes set on his part of his whole vision. I guess, well, this is going on, right? Also, at the same time, I'm imagining, like, in so many great 80s movies, the scene of, like, the creepy Swamp Tracks guy in his big high-rise Miami with, like, a model of, of Swamp Tracks Casino Berg or whatever it's going to be called. Yeah, I, we, could do, we could, like, cut to this yes, I think scene we cut to in, this. The, in the in the high-rise exactly. Swamp Tracks tower. And, and it's very clear that, like, Gator and is, like, a big part of his plan. He's on billboards. He thinks Gator's going to be, like, the next Barry Manilow. I, I don't know. He thinks Gator- it is. It's going to be, like... Uh, 
yeah. Margaritaville right. in the swamp. Yes. And I think the guy that runs swamp tracks is a bayou man. We see like uh, we see the, all these soups uh, talking around, oh, we you know, we don't need to get Gary. We could get fifty cent. We could get anybody to rep this right, thing. Right. And then you and then you see the guy in the white suit with the yes. hat come and he's like yes. Listen, I'm from the bayou. You ain't gonna get the bayou unless you got the bayou. You hear me? We need to get this gator fella. We need to put him on there. That's what makes right. it a bayou That's casino, right. you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. That's right. He's like chowing down a gigantic mixing bowl full of craft macaroni and cheese. Like using a big old spoon. You can't get gator. You ain't working for me no more. Now you get out there and you get me that gator. That's right. I love this. It's perfect. And, so, and, and that helps us kind of understand like, okay, the, the casino is going to happen, but the yeah. casino won't be successful according to Boss Haas right. unless we get gator to rep it for us. So Crucial. now these, now and now... And and they and, and he pulls up TikTok and he's like, "Look at him! Yeah. They're coming right here to Miami." Yeah, perfect. All right, got it. That's great. We're gonna put a sign of a, a, a TikTok of Gator trying to read the Miami Welcome Miami sign. Unwell, not well. Uh, anyway, I like that. So that's so yeah. So TikTok unfortunately betrays them slightly. Um, but okay, cool. So they know they're in Miami, and maybe even one of the suits from Swamp Tracks, like. He as, as after the failed attempt to just go talk to Terry, which is very un-American that these people won't let him talk. <laughs> the record company guy, he's like, "Hey, you guys trying to go and see Terry Crews? I could get you in there." Uh, uh yeah. Well, well, who are you? I, I'm a friend of Terry's. I, I work right. for the show. I can help get you in there. Why don't you go ahead and, and sign this for me? Um, and and Gator's like, "I ain't signing nothing yep. for no one." Uh, especially for someone I don't know. All right, well, failed attempt, but like, <laughs> right, dress, well, you know, I'll get him out and, and I'll help get you in. You guys trying out for America's Got Talent? I can help get you in. And he pulls very small strings because we're just at the tryouts. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, my name's Rick. Perfect. Rick, Rick from from uh, Rick and I and I represent these guys. I want to get them on the show. Rick uh, from Swamp from Swamp Track Records. Well, oh, well, I don't track. need Swamp right. Track. A little bit of a scene, but ultimately, this is just to forward us into uh, uh, Gator and Patty going yes. through the the process to just write your name down so right. you can audition for right. America's Got Talent. And I, I assume at this point now they're just in a room surrounded by a bunch of kids singing and doing Correct. belly rolls and J making dogs and jump. <laughs> exactly right. A lot of magicians, too many magicians. <laughs> um, uh, making each other I disappear. do close hand magic. Right. I do yeah. far away magic. <laughs> Don't come any closer. <laughs> you can't look. Nothing up my sleeves. Now cut the cameras for a moment. <laughs> I've got to do one quick thing. And oh, Simon is dead. <laughs> that poor woman is all deaf. <laughs> okay. So um I like this. Yeah, so they're in the okay, cool. So they're in. So they're so they're kind of again hoping to just and maybe they're like, we're not gonna win. America's got talent, but 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 Patty's like, Well, let's just get in the building. Like, we sign this thing to try out, we get in the building, then we'll just wait for our opportunity. And if Terry, we Terry always talks to him right. before they go on we'll stage. Just, we'll pop up and we'll talk to him, right? We'll find Terry in the background. If not, he talks to you before you go on stage. Like, this is the best way to talk to him. Don't overthink it. We got this. And so they're kind of begrudgingly in there, but they're in there, um, not even thinking about winning really 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 just want to talk to terry cruz yeah so another solution is winning america's got talent sure 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 but if we get terry we get the win and i think also at this point patty's like maybe starting to realize as she looks around at all these mm. b-rate magicians oh i'm gonna have to go on there and dance on yeah. the stage on the television yes She's probably forgetting out a bit about that. Because um, she was nervous to do it at the alligator wrestling show, really, until it kind of became a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. So there's there's a lot of opportunity here. We don't have to do the exposition on this podcast, but right. like where uh, Gator gets to kind of help support Patty and help yes. her realize that she's equal talent on the show. Yeah, right. And America's going to benefit. And maybe in this course of them kind of reinforcing each other's talents they realize, like, you know, maybe we do got a shot at winning this thing. Yeah, I like that. There could even be a scene where, right, Patty's, like, chewing on her sunglasses, and Gator's like, you're doing it again. You're nervous, aren't you? You're chewing through those Walmart 
brand. Yeah, those are the good ones. I got you. Right. Five hundred dollars. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> Let me soothe your soul. Right. And so they get to do another fun musical scene where they he pulls her into the alley and they're like, you know, you dance better than anyone's ever danced in this whole planet, this whole universe. <laughs> and really, she's just twerking. <laughs> 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 well, he's like working an operatic version of of some old Boston song. Um, that'd be amazing to see, and we're gonna soon. But but they have some kind of right that moment in the alley where she he helps helps her just see herself for who she actually is and gets the the negative Nancy voices out of her head, which sometimes you need a friend to do. And Gator's Gator's that guy. Gator fears nothing. Gator, other than leaving the swamp and. <laughs> <laughs> That's like basically certain cell death. phones, um, but uh, raw fish, <laughs> other than those things. Um, but yeah, they get to have a nice moment together, and again, they're kind of so now Patty's maybe a little bit more reengaged and ready to go. So they got to they got to like go through, and again, as it's happening, evil swamp tracks is like fine. He can't go. Uh, they're at the tryouts. Who let him in there? And stupid Rick is like, I thought it'd be a good idea to earn their trust. Like, if they win, they don't need us. We got to shut this thing down. I got to make some calls. Rick, you're an idiot. It's your problem. You got to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> so now sheepish Rick is is in charge of like trying to gain their trust again. And, and that's kind of happening as they're getting ready to do round one and get out there to who they think is Terry Crews, and, and maybe, like, he's... Oh, I guess he is in, like, the backstage area, right? He's always, like, letting people on the stage. Is that his role, I believe? Yeah, he he's, I don't know, the MC of the show, right. or... Um, but I feel like every time someone goes on the stage, they talk to, or their mom talks right. to Terry Crews first. Yes, that's right. And so maybe when it's their turn to go up, right, Gator, again, Patty's... Still forgot a little bit because it's we're about to go on stage, but Gator is like could care less and just sees Terry Crews as like Mr. Future President. You got yeah. five minutes of your time, and Terry's looking at him, and the camera is like, "Hey, kid, as you're that that so Gator guy came to us from the Bayou, <laughs> heard all about you. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't matter. Look, I need your help. Someone's coming to steal our town. He's like, okay, okay. <laughs> that sounds fun, but let's start what you're doing on the stage tonight. Like, you're just trying to like keep everything under control. Obviously, I'm just here for you, Mister President. <laughs> I'll take you. I'll kidnap you if I need to. <laughs> Maybe he does say something. We need the magic of Terry Cruz to help save right. the Bayou. Now, like, come with me later. I'm gonna grab you right now, Terry. I get my arms around you, and Terry's like, you can't get your arms around me. <laughs> He's like, you're right. You're right. Uh, well, I'm Mistake. Whole plan. I'm mistaken. <laughs> so I guess we'll go out and see. <laughs> uh, and they do. They go out there and perform. And what do they They'd probably do well enough, right? They got to kind of be in the in the running. Yeah, I think they they their talent because it shows about the talent of Gator yes. and Patty <laughs> twerking. <laughs> <laughs> it shows about the talent of them. So their 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 performance speaks through the judges, Howie, who you're friends with. Yep. Um, Simon and another person. And I think um, Simon, because sometimes he'll do this when he hears someone sing, he'll be like, do you have an, a, a different song? Right. And there's an opportunity for Simon to be like, I, sound, I really like the sound of your voice. Have you ever done opera? Could you uh, sing this song for me? And perfect. he's like, I'm not too familiar, but I mean, I've heard of the opera and Italy songs. <laughs> so Simon's like, okay, well, I'm going to give you the track. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Go backstage, listen to it, prepare, and then I want you to come back on stage, um, and and sing an opera for me. And so he he gives him this. Ta he gives Gator this task. And of course, Patty, I'd like you to to do your dance for it as well. Um, <laughs> opera dance, because you're part of the show. But so that gives um, that mechanic is going to give the record company. Probably Rick through the instruction of his boss or yeah. Rick's boss calling the show to call in a favor because Swamp right. Tracks is one of the sponsors, yes, big absolutely. investors. And Terry gets word that he's supposed to mess with uh, Gator uh, so that either he can't sing or like cut the mic or something like that. So this is just something to get Terry to pay attention to right. Gator now. Right. Like this is crazy this, i'm terry cruz right. and no one tells me what to do <laughs> right exactly exactly i love that yeah i'm gonna be the president one day yeah. um yeah so i think that's great they kind of overplay their hand a little bit swamp tracks does and they're like well listen whatever we say we're swamp tracks wreck <laughs> yes <laughs> we're the 91st most successful record company in this country we got two casinos in louisiana <laughs> yeah, right one of them's underwater but it still counts 
<laughs> we're getting insurance money from it. Um, Three so... months behind on rent for their office. <laughs> right. His eviction notices are cute, but we ain't going to nowhere. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is good. So, you're right. So, I like this. So, that kind of gets Terry's attention, and he pulls Gator aside as he's working on the opera and stuff. And he's like, do you know a Swamp Tracks record? And he's like, Terry, thank God you're here. I have so much to tell you. Swamp Track record, yes. They're trying to steal my town. And and now Terry's kind of taking him seriously. Like, well, they just called me to try to, to tell me to cut your mic when you're performing. And Gator's like shocked. It, like he's, his idol is about to betray him. And Terry's like, of course I said, no, no one tells Terry Crews what to do. And Gary's like, that's right. <laughs> Let's yeah. ride. He gets really pumped up. We're taking back my town with Terry Crews, future president. <laughs> and Terry's like, calm, calm down, calm down. I don't know about any of that. I just wanted to tell you, you got to keep your wits about you. Um, but I want to know more about what's going on. So I'll let you work because you got to get out there and, and first things first, impress Simon so you could keep moving forward. But like, I want to hear what's going on, kid. If something crazy is happening, maybe we can get some cameras on and get some attention to it and make a story out of it and save you somehow or something like that. Terry's offering help. Okay. Uh, great. I got to get back on stage, do this uh, Atali song for Simon, <laughs> hold my gator, this slime belt, and he just passes him like a... <laughs> He a small little actual alligator. Oh, he's had in his pocket the entire time. And I think you want Terry Crews to freak out, but he actually just like, grabs it right, and the gator right. just cuddles up like right. a little kitten yep, for him. Because it's Terry Crews. Yeah. Uh, gator goes out, crushes the operatic song. Simon's in tears. Yes. The world is watching. Yes. Maybe it's live for whatever reason. The sure. world is watching. We're moved by this. And um, they're all getting ready to do their their buzzers yes. or however they vote yes. Yep. Yep. And Terry Crews comes out, and you think, like, oh, my God, it's going to be a golden buzzer moment. Right. But Terry Crews actually holds up his phone. He's like, and he just blows up. Stop me if I'm going too far. <laughs> but he just blows up the record company <laughs> here. Uh, not exposed. <laughs> I'm allergic to alligators. <laughs> Woo! Okay. So Terry, uh, he was like, I just want to take a moment to recognize the talent of these young folks and this performance and the struggles of where they're from and the bayou, which doesn't get enough love in America. We yep. support the Everglades. Yep. And the Swamp Tracks have been telling me I got a message from them that I'm supposed to interfere with their performance so they can't win the prize money. And I think uh, this is this is evil, and I don't care if you fire me. I'm Terry. I'm Terry Crews. Cruz. You can't fire me. I'm the future Trump. president of the United Trump. States president of America. <laughs> um, and so he just kind of like he he sets a fire under uh, swamp tracks for the not even evil, just American thing they're trying to do. <laughs> just buy out some land that's cheap and kick people off of it yep. and then build a casino. Um, exactly right. But, but Terry is taking it upon himself to stand up for the little guy here. I like and this. And he says, you know, like, oh, if you want to support Gator and Patty, uh, I've, started a, I've started a fund for them. Ooh. You can so, you know, uh, save the swamp. Um, you can donate money and we can help these kids save their town. And it's uh, maybe that doesn't even make the final taping on, on America's Got Talent or whatever. But but Terry steps up for him. Terry steps up. It doesn't even need to. And that could be maybe Swamp Tracks does throw some weight around to like a producer. is like cut all these feeds. But enough people, the audience have their phones. Yes. The power of TikTok. The phone can save. Right. Yes. So Gator and so for a moment, Gator and Patty are like, they're getting the word out, getting the word out. And then. And Terry's like, I did what I could. I wanted to help you kids. And that person comes over and they're like, Terry, you never do something like that again. No, luckily, I cut the feet before you said too much. But you're putting the whole show in danger. You can't do that kind of stuff to swap tracks. They are one of our sponsors. So the the win, the victory is short-lived and turns out to be nothing. Um, so they think. The power of TikTok, though. People are working now behind the scenes. They did see Terry's message. It's out spreading beyond Miami and beyond the Everglades to the world. And, you know, Terry starts getting texts or alerts on TikTok or whatever. And so does Patty. And Gator's like, what's going on with y'all's phones? That's crazy noise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like the fund is starting to grow pretty quickly so but they still can even win america's got talent but also that's a tough like they got people juggling dogs and on a unicycle like a unicycle jumping through a hoops and groups of 30 kids that have never eaten doing <laughs> gymnastic shows with a ring of fire 
Right, a bunch of obese people making a human pyramid. There's lots of crazy stuff that happens with Eric's I lo- <laughs> It is a weird show. <laughs> a, a wife shooting arrows through her husband's <laughs> chest. <laughs> It goes right through the rib cage. It only right. it only goes right through my flesh. That's it. That's all. I'm it's fine. just one inch from my heart. I'm gonna have Howie Mandel shoot this next arrow. <laughs> um, <sighs> but I so I like the message. I know we weren't planning on going here with it, but I like the message that maybe I, I hate it too. But I like <laughs> the TikTok. Yes. In the in the crowd starting the live stream is enough where like this cat. This gator can't get put back in the bag. That's right. And the so. word's out. And whether they win or not, the the Terry Crews fund, um, yeah. like uh Patty's like, Oh my god, we we've we've already got like three hundred and eighty thousand yep. dollars pledged to our fund to save the swamp. Yes. I love that. And maybe I mean again, we don't need to they maybe they need to win to get the rest. Maybe they get enough through TikTok. We can, that's a thing we can figure out when we write. I don't even know if we need to have that. Ooh. Oh, okay, you got it. Ooh. Todd's got it. There's uh because this is the real world yes. movie. And um so Swamp Tracks is like the big, you know, Sony Columbia Records or whoever the worst right. record label is. And then there's also uh uh, uh Bayou Records. Sure. Bayou Records. Bayou Records. That sounds classier. Um, what gumbo? Gum? No, Bayou Records. Let's see. <laughs> Bayou Records has reached out to Gator and Patty on TikTok, and they're like, "Hey, you know, we've been getting our asses kicked by Swamp Tracks uh, for so long, uh, but we've had a lot of success with influencer and social media marketing. We think you and Patty uh-huh. make a beautiful Perfect. couple." And we'd love to help boost your performance and sign you to our label. And of course, we're willing to help make sure that you can save the swamp. That's it. Yeah. That's right. And they're like, all right, one condition you can keep all the money, you can keep all the whatever you're going to pay us up front. We don't want that advance. You just got to save the swamp. Like, put it there so we can let us put, you know, the airboat king two location and maybe a little bit bigger of the alligator. I need it. another crescent wrench such. I haven't had a 10 millimeter <laughs> socket in 30 years. Right. But like make some invest in the swamp and basically steal it out from under swamp tracks nose and put a bigger alligator wrestling dome there and a cool airboat dock. But that's it. It's still swamp. It's still swamp people. It's still the swamp life. But that's how he like, agrees. It's part of his deal to get on this record label. Him and Patty. I love that. So that's what TikTok does. Gets him in front of the right people um and yep swamp tracks just too slow rick's too dumb and too slow and the owner of swamp tracks is too slowed down by all the mac and cheese he's eating he's <laughs> having to change his white suit all the time because it's covered in craft <laughs> dust and uh, i told you to bring me a bib <laughs> a big old bib a garbage cheese bag. bib i'll eat in a garbage bag <laughs> Jeez, um so yeah so they don't even need to win it they win at life they can walk away and let the guy juggling dogs win um because he probably also needs it if he's resorted to juggling dogs he probably yeah. also has his own swamp to save and- yeah you had a really <laughs> tough job if you decided that juggling dogs was going to be your out right so they can, <laughs> they can share the love a little bit uh walk away making a friend in terry cruz um and saving the swamp and maybe, I don't know why, but maybe um, Bayou Records sets up like a little, oh, yeah, like they set up maybe their their yes. their rural record studio yep. out in the swamp. Yes. And it gives, importantly, it gives Gator and Patty Wi-Fi yep. um, so they can continue their TikToks. But also <laughs> it allows more people to come in and put a record down for a company that's more about the artist than the yes. the royalties deal. That's right. And they and Gator and Patty create a whole artist experience that they think is great, where it's like, you need to live in my trailer. We'll be my Gator every morning. You'll be in the, let the swamp inspire you. And they're all just <laughs> city folk terrified. Like, I, I heard it was cool down here and inspiring, but every day I wake up with a bug the size of a cat on my forehead. <laughs> Southern Florida's terrifying. <laughs> you never put your shoes back on because you don't know what crits called <laughs> crawled in there when you took them all. That's right, Lord. Either leave them on or leave them all. <laughs> live in the swamp, die in the swamp. <laughs> I don't live here. I'm just visiting. Yeah, live in the swamp, die in the swamp. Use Terry Crews and Andrea Bocelli to come record the live in the swamp, die in the swamp, That's heal it. the world track. <laughs> 
That's right. And they raise enough money to cure world hunger just because Gator liked to sing and Patty liked to dance. And that's it. They The Gator belts and Patty melts changes the world, John. The power of the power twerking. of a musical movie and twerking. I mean, the twerking and the TikTok make a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, I feel like that that would help. Hundred um, percent. But there is actual truth. Like there was, uh, uh, I think her name is Fo Shay. There was an artist okay. that recorded some backtracks after she like failed out of AGT or oh. something like that, oh. and she recorded some tracks and like released them for people to basically use for free. Nice. And some guy made a, a rap song and she heard her voice. She went on TikTok to say, like, I'm the one that actually made that backing. Right. And it took her forever to convince people. And then finally TikTok supported her. Nice. Fast forward, she ended up getting a record deal and she had the very popular song that I can't remember now, but... We'll add it in post, or or we won't. You'll just Google it. But yeah, uh, yeah, I, a little I, bit like there's truth. I, like I didn't know we were going to use TikTok yeah. when we started that journey. I just knew Terry Crews was going to save the day somehow. Right, and, and he, he kind of did. He did. He did. It's just not the way we thought, not on the broadcast, but on the TikTok cast. So that was it. That's it. We did it. Gator belts and patty melts, Monte Carlos and El Dorados, <laughs> and everything else is Swiss cheese. <laughs> well thanks for joining us on this journey to the bayou we hope to see you again next week when we go back to untap to find a, our next feature film that's it we return to the fast five fast lane but until then send your beers to harrison on instagram peace punch give me a lunch <clears throat> is that a gator burger <laughs>